So welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you see right here on screen, we'll get right into the video. I will be giving a Texas Chainsaw Massacre update. Um, if you've been following for a while, you would know Texas. the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre will be coming out this year. And I can guarantee you it's just going to be called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But it is what it is. Um, but anyways, I want before I do continue, I want to say thank you guys for 300 subscribers. Um, let me know in the comments below, are you excited for the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I said my piece on it, you know, here and there before. I'm kind of excited. I'm out to jump in for joy about it, but I'm curious to see what they will do. But I'm kind of disappointed by this one thing, as you see on the screen right here. Let me continue. It's a direct sequel. And it's the same character. It is an old man Leatherface, Alvarez confirms. Now, the old man Leatherface, that's intriguing. I like that idea. But again, you're just doing what Halloween 2018 did with the old man Michael Myers. We've seen it. Just with a different, you know, horror icon. We've seen it. You know, with Leatherface, yeah, it sounds interesting. But at the same time, Leatherface runs and all that. So, it's... <laughs> It really depends on how it's going to come off. Like it, it could come off goofy, like it could come off goofy, like an old man serial killer running around with a chainsaw. Like it could come off goofy if they don't do it right. It depends on how they want to do it. it depends on the tone and the vibe and the atmosphere. Now, it being a direct sequel, not a fan, because I can guarantee you they're only going to make two or three movies. Then, at, then four, ten years later, they're going to just remake. Why not just announce that it's going to be a remake, right? Just announce that it's going to be a remake, and it's going to be a start of a new franchise. That's what I would rather have than all. Let's just make a direct sequel to the original because Halloween 2018 did it. Come on, you know, be a little bit more creative than that. Like, come on. I've always said it here. To me, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the few horror franchises where they're, where it's a playground. And what I mean by it's a playground, a open world, is there's so many things you can do. So many things you could put in. You could put your old flavor. You, you know, you could, you know, connect the two things, whatever. But anyways, um, some more information. Again, Alvarez confirmed, as I just said, that the movie is indeed a sequel to Toby Hoop, um, um, Hooper's original classic, as we had expected for a while, as I just said. Alvarez also dropped an exclusive bomb. The movie is apparently set many years after the events of Ch Chainsaw Massacre, with Letterface now a much older man, as I just said. Again, we've seen this. We've seen this Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie back in 2013. You know, like, we've seen this. Like, we've seen this. We didn't see the old man leather face. I mean, he was kind of, you know, up there in age. But given, we've seen this. And look how, it, you know, that turned out. A again, I have faith in Abaraz. Don't get that twisted. But we've seen this. We, we, we've seen this. We, we seen, we've already seen it come up with something original. That's what I say. Because, I mean, us fans, we could come up with something way original than this. And that. My piece on it. Alvarez also noted, you know, Alvarez also noted in the chat with the Boom, the Boo crew, that the new movie is taking an old school approach, which I love that. I love that. We're taking an old school, old school approach with the gore gags being as, um, executed practically whenever possible so they're going to execute practical whenever possible that means they're not going to use any cgi only when it's necessary which again i think that's great i think again i like that because i said it when it comes down to a horror movie you don't need cgi left and right only need it when the film needs it that's how i feel so i do like that I will keep saying it, not a fan of a direct sequel, and I hope the new Scream movie that comes out in January breaks that. Um, also, again, like like I just said, everything's a classic old school gags. A lot of the approach that we had with the Evil Dead, um, to do everything on camera, it's a very old school approach to filmmaking. A, a vintage lens is very similar to the original film I've been explaining to the podcast. So they're going to film it in a way that the original was filmed. I mean, I like that. You know, 
you know, the main things I like about this is the all men leather phase because that seems interesting to me. Um, the practical effects, always down for practical effects. The vintage lens, I'm, I like that idea, but again, seeing it in the original, let's do something new. That's just how I feel when it you know comes down to reimagining a horror icon. You know, just do something different, you know, because it sounds like, again, like it says, a vintage lens is very similar to the original film. I've read this in the podcast. So it seems like they're going to film it in a way that the original was filmed. I like how the original was filmed, but we have the original. You know, let's just do something new and original. Same goes with the story. Making it a direct sequel to the original. Again, we got that in 2013. Texas Chainsaw. Look how that turned out. Do I need to see more? Like, do I need to see more? Again, I don't think they need to top the original. I think, if anything, they need to top the 2003 remake because I feel like that's the best Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Um, I mean, I, you know, again, the the three things that cite me is the old man Leatherface. That seems intriguing what they could do there. But, I just hope it doesn't come off goofy. Like I just hope it don't come off goofy. An old man serial killer running around in the woods with a chainsaw. I just hope that doesn't come off goofy. I'm scared that it's going to come off goofy. I'll be honest. I'm kind of scared it's going to come off goofy. And this is going to have like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 approach where it's just goofy. And I don't think we need that for the return of Leatherface. The other things that do excite me... Along, you know, um, if I have to like put these like in a ranking, the things that excite me. The first thing would assign me is the practical effects, so I'm always down for practical effects. Um, the last thing that excites me is the old man leather face because I'm curious about that, but I'm also kind of alarmed about it because is it going to come off goofy? I'm sorry, like leather face is to me my favorite, you know. Leatherface is a 2003, you know, remake. So are we going to have a Leatherface that's a little, you know, a little overweight, you know, not too, you know, balked up like the remake and he's, you know, a little old and you can tell that like, how is that just going to come off? Like that may come off goofy, but besides the point, let me know in the comments, you know, let's have a discussion in the comments below. I really would like to have a discussion in the comments below with you guys. How do you feel about Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And when do you think this will be coming out? How do you feel about it? Are you excited for it? Are you, you know, do you feel like how I feel? That, yeah, you're kind of excited, but you have more worries than excitement. When do I think we could see this? Well, let me start off with the trailer. The trailer, I see the trailer coming in May, May or June. Um, it will come out, and I can guarantee you August, November, or December. Maybe they delay it till February of next year. Um, but I, I say those months because I do not see it going up against Halloween Kills this October. I don't see it dropping in October. And supposedly, I believe Candyman is supposed to come out in June or July. Correct me on that. I don't see this going up against Candyman. I'm sorry, but a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Candyman came out in the same month. Candyman is going to stomp all over this Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I can guarantee you that. Um, but yeah, let me know. Like I said, let's have a discussion in the comments below. How do you feel about this news? Are you excited about a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? I personally feel like we didn't. I'll be honest. We didn't need a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Unless it was something that was really appealing to all fans. Because we're not out here like how we are with Nightmare on Elm Street. Or, you know, whatever. We're not, you know, like demanding a, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. We're not demanding one. So... The you know I don't think you know the you know the demand is there for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie yet. If the ideal was like super appealing, I think I think more people would be talking about it if it was more like appealing and just more original. I think people you know will be talking about it. But besides the point, let me know how you feel about it. Are you excited for it? Make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are brand new around here and hit that notification bell. Catch you guys in the next video.